Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, Earthlings, including sugars. Um, I suppose they have a point, the sugars, that uh, perhaps I don't always give Megan a fair crack of the whip, shall we say. So I looked her up on the Harry Walker speaking agency and I've got her bio and I'm going to read it out from start to finish. So it might be a bit of a longer video. It's quite a long bio. Um, I'm not going to change a single word. I'm going to read it out as is. Hold on to your keyboards and devices until the end. Or maybe you won't be able to restrain yourselves. I'm not putting any input either way. I'm just reading this out. Megan, the Duchess of Sussex, is a feminist champion of human rights and gender equity. A global role model, her lifelong advocacy for women and girls... <clears throat> remains a constant thread she weaves through both humanitarian and business ventures. She is noted as one of the most powerful and influential women in the world, topping lists such as Time magazine's Most Influential People, The Financial Times' 25 Most Influential Women, Variety Power of Women and British Vogue's Vogue 25. She and her husband, Prince Harry, have also been the recipients of the NAACP President's Award, as well as the Robert F. Kennedy Ripple of Hope Award. Meghan's global impact and strong stance on resilience, equality and compassion through action have made her one of the most iconic public figures of this generation. Born and raised in Southern California, Megan attended Los Angeles-based all-girls Catholic school, Immaculate Heart, which she continues to support as an alumna before moving to Chicago to attend the prestigious Northwestern University. While there, she double majored in theater and international <coughs> relations and went on to intern at the US Embassy in Buenos Aires, Argentina as well as to study abroad in Madrid, Spain. After graduation, Megan turned her focus to the entertainment industry and landed her big break as a lead actor in the hit series Suits, which she starred in <coughs> for several seasons. During her time off between filming, Megan traveled to Rwanda, India, and across the globe working on humanitarian missions and serving in key roles such as UN Women's Advocate for Women's Political Participation and Leadership, a World Vision Global Ambassador and a leading counsellor to the One Young World where she inspired youth and women around the world through her passionate advocacy and hands-on approach to being of service. She also traveled to support the military community on the USO tour, visiting six military bases in seven days, including Bagram, Afghanistan. In 2018, Meghan married Prince Harry, becoming the Duchess of Sussex. An accomplished writer. She has contributed pieces to publications in the UK, US and Ireland and parlayed that skill into the creation of the successful lifestyle website, The Tig, where her thoughtful and inspiring op-eds cultivated a global fan base. The Duchess of Sussex was the first guest editor in the history of British Vogue for their July issue 2019, which was the fastest selling copy in history, in the history of the publication. She and Prince Harry founded the Archwell Foundation in 2020 to support communities in need at a micro and macro level, both in moments of crisis as well as for long-term aid. At the Archwell Foundation, they hold the value that charitable work should not simply be a handout, but rather a hand held, a phrase which Meghan first coined when supporting UK charity SmartWorks of which she is patron that uplifts and prepares undeserved women. Sorry, underserved 
women, my bad, to enter the workforce. Megan and her husband also founded overseas production company Archwell Productions and podcasting arm Archwell. In 2022, Megan launched Archetypes, a record-breaking podcast exploring the labels that try to hold women back. Archetypes, Archetypes debuted, de, yeah, debuted at number one in the US, UK, Australia and New Zealand and topped the charts as number one podcast in 47 countries, demonstrating her unparalleled global reach. After its first season, Archetypes was awarded the People's Choice Award in the podcast category. She is in a New York Times best-selling author, publishing her highly celebrated children's book, The Bench, and together our Community Kitchen, a publication she spearheaded with the women of the Hub Community Kitchen in the UK, who were displaced after the tragic Grenfell fire. True to her character, the Duchess of Sussex mobilised to turn pain into purpose, working alongside this dynamic group of women to help them heal, grow and develop their own business enterprises in the face of adversity. In addition to topping the New York Times bestseller list together, also debuted as number one on the UK's Sunday book list with proceeds going to the kitchen. Megan's influence in fashion has been coined the Megan effect, with items selling out within hours of her wearing them. Her effect has transcended fashion shifting cultural conversations as seen with her op-ed for the New York Times, The Losses We Share. The piece detailed a heartbreaking personal story which spiked the conversations surrounding miscarriage to the highest it had been spoken in over two decades at the time of publishing. Megan is a passionate advocate for mental health and family care the holistic support of women and children's rights, and the immeasurable value of one's self-worth. Her core belief that representation matters and her connection to community through the lens of learning, healing and inspiring have helped define her as a cultural catalyst <coughs> for positive change. Megan resides in California with her husband, and their children, Prince Archie Harrison and Princess Lilibet Diana and their three dogs. Wow. Wow. Wow, that's a lot. I'd book her for a speaking event, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs>